Hey guys, this is Shiny Zacharon, and before this next episode, or part of Red Rescue Team starts, here you guys go, this is gonna be my Pokemon, my third one that I am going to bring around. After 10 runs, and nearly had to go to an 11th, this Beldum just asked to join right by the stairs, and we are gonna click yes. What do I want to nickname this thing? Um, we're going to name it... We're going to nickname this Beldum... Metal. Oop, I did not mean to speed up there, but... Or there either. But it's just, I've been speeding through these runs to try and get a Beldum for the longest time. I kid you not, this is everything that has happened. Cyndaquil has gone from level 14 to level 17. And has also gotten the Efficiency Expert as well as Status Checker IQ skills. Our Totodile caught up at about level 13 or 14 and finally had lower EXP amounts than Cyndaquil did, and it got up to level 16 and has learned Water Gun in that time, and has gotten Efficiency Expert and Status Checker. <coughs> so I'm sorry if I'm just like really excited and just... It took 10 runs to get this Beldum. But yes, this is the one I am going to bring along for adventures, I will meet you guys back when we start the next part. See you guys then. Hey guys, this is Shiny Zekram, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part, we did pretty much it was just a day of missions as well, or rescues, missions, whatever you want to say. And we had Team Meanies come to our house and steal jobs. And then at the very end, Caterpie consulted us about his friend Metapod, who got lost in the woods. However, Team Meanies wants to race and get the glory before we do. Now, you s we'll see the clip before this of me finally getting who I'm going to be bringing along for the all these adventures. A Beldum. Now, if you guys didn't see that clip, here's again what happened. Our Cyndaquil Blaze hits level 17. And got Efficiency Expert and Status Checker IQ skill. Gatorade, our Tornadile hit level 16. Also got Efficiency Expert IQ skill and Status Checker IQ skill. And also learned Water Gun. While doing this, I earned quite a bit of money to the point of... You guys are going to watch me do it right here. I have bought quite a few friend areas, including right before the end of the last part. You saw I bought Magnetic Quarry because that's the friend area I needed for Belden. You guys just saw I bought Mount Discipline and the Decrebit Lab. So, really, it's just less than 1,000 uh, friend areas to go. Our most expensive... I even bought Peanut Swamp, which is a 2,500 at one point, because I was getting so much money. But yeah, now the jungle is really our highest, or I should say most expensive uh, spot left to buy. So we're going to store the 46 poke that we have left. And we are going to go help Caterpie and rescue his buddy, Metapod. I already have Beldum set to go. I have... This is our items. We have two apples, three orns, a blast seed, four reviver seeds, two sleep seeds, two max elixirs, and an escape orb. Without further ado, let's go rescue Metapod. We're off to Sinister Woods. This is it. Metapod is lost in these woods. Gengar's crew should have a head start on us. We'd better hurry. Welcome to Sinister Woods. Now, I will warn you right now, I am sorry if Beldum gets a lot of levels. I'm just going to remind you that... He is only level 5, and Beldum actually has a very fast EXP growth rate. And we're going to kill this Oddish. And we're going to... Oh. 
Hey. Nope. Bogum. Aw, oh, man. I already used one of our reviver seeds. Once he starts growing levels, this will be different. Like, I think right here. Yep. Level 6. My level's gone up. Magnetism has as well. Let me get some set increases. Now, this is a thing. Let's fight the pseudo Udo. And who we kill in one hit because we're just. I hate to say it, but over leveled. But there were just so many Pokemon that got in the way while I was trying to fight Beldums and actually get to the floors of Beldum. That. I am sorry if you guys feel like I am over leveled. And... What? Um. No thank you, because there is actually a different Pokemon I would like to maybe get and I might use from time to time. And there's Beldum hitting level 7. Getting some more stat increases, which is exactly what we want him to do. If I'm right, I think we can start finding Reviver Seeds in here, which would be really nice. Alright, and here's our stairs. Another pseudo Udo. I'm gonna hit the stairs and keep on going. I'll hit the stairs as much as I can when I find them, just because, like I said, I already do feel very bad about being this high of a level, but I really want to build him an, a second pseudo wudo. No thank you, but that's pretty difficult to do, I'm pretty sure. Just, wow. Let me find our stairs again. Sentrip picks up an orange berry. Money galore to start this floor. Not bad. Let me find a Sentret. And Beldum hits level 8. Nice. Ooh, good HP and attack increase. I like that. Knock out the Silcoon. Oh, we fight the Sunflora. Oh. Get some nice expenses. No, Beldum, Beldum, Beldum. Oh, nice, you made that. No! Oh, we didn't die. Wow. I wonder how much HP that was. Well, he's at three, so I'm going to imagine it was probably one HP. Beldum, you're already proving very cool. Metal, I should say. Metal. Metal the Beldum. Oh, actually, that's the Pokemon I want right there. That's Shroomish. And Beldum grows to level 9. Not bad. Beldum getting lots of levels, getting a decent amount of HP now. Scanner Orb, that's not too bad. Well, Ember, since you decided to defense curl. Hey, we got the Shroomish! Nice.
We'll name you Shroomy. And Totodile grew to level 17 as well. Wow. Not bad so far. Actually, there's something I want to check. What level is Shroomus? Nine, not bad. So right up there with Beldum, actually. Yeah, Shroomus was the one I wanted to get. It was between Beldum Sh and Shroomish and one other Pokemon, which we'll see a little bit later on. Ooh, now here's another good experience-worthy Pokemon. Linoon. 85. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, what can I see? Blasty, we don't need that. We're gonna go to 8F. And we start to see some water. Knock out the line noon and Beldum hits level 10. With another 3 HP. Goody. So yeah, Beldum's another one of those fast EXP rated Pokemon. So... Yeah, and here's Wooper. <laughs> Good job, Beldum. Pick up the blast seed and actually kill the whooper with it. Brilliant. Um, I'll have him use that because I really don't want him to be holding that. I'd rather if he's going to hold anything like an Orin Berry or something. Apple will skip that. Pick up the money. Here's another one I was also considering with Scyther, but... The evolution method is kind of what threw me off with Scyther, who gives us 95 experience points, which isn't bad. Alright, we get some money. A Rostberry. More experience. And the stairs. On to Tenef. Knock up the Slaver, who gives us 88 experience, and Beldum hits level 11. Oh, we almost missed some money. Alright, we're on to 11F. And, uh, since we have a full inventory, I'm gonna... Actually, drink this max elixir because I could use that right now. Now we're in darkness, but we see a hoot hoot. Exeggutor. Doesn't phase us. 85 experience, and our shroomus grows to level 10 and gets leech seed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 74 poke from an executor. Let's see if this is the one. Yes, it is. Nice. More money. Always a good thing to have some money. We're up to 1,020 from this trip. Wow. Yeah, we'll be able to get that jungle after this. And with that executor down, level 12, Beldone. Gets another 3 HP. Even got 2 defense. Alright. 12F. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is our last floor. And here are our, our stairs. Yes, it was. We've come pretty far into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there! Kick it in. You know who's going to get the Metapod first? We are! So for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. What? Hey, Gengar! Why do you always try to mess with us? 
Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. Kick it, and for that, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and right now. Say goodbye, Gatorade. So the fight with Team Meanies begins. Well, let's do it. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to make Gengar a Whiffer. And the Metacham just took so much damage. It decides to detect. But that doesn't matter because we're going to try and take out Gengar. And we get Poison Sting. That doesn't matter. We're going to Ember Gengar. Take him out. And with that experience, we hit level 18. Thunder Punch. And it looks like Madcham's detect is still going, so we're going to attack Ekans. And we get critical hit tackle. And there goes Madcham's protect. So while it's down, we're going to Ember. Take it out. And with that experience, Beldum hits level 13. And Shroomus also hits level 11. Nice. We're going to tackle Ekans to take him on out. Ow, 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 ow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. Well, those pests are gone. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me? Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was scared, so I kept Michelle Harden and waited and waited. Thank you. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Gatorade and Blaze. But I don't have any money. It's okay, okay. We don't need a reward. It's just great to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. Haha, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Go for it. I have an idea. Blaze, how about we do something right here? Why don't we make a properly impressive rescue team base? That's cool. A rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too, me too. Haha, <laughs> that's settled then. Let's make sure we build ourselves a proper rescue team base. Blaze and Gatorade, thank you again. See you around. Take care going home. Sigh. Well, we ended up working for free, but that had to be done. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. I'm just beat today. Let's keep up our good work tomorrow. See you. And we got Shroom Mr. to go back. The next morning. Alright. Please, morning. Let's keep up our good work today. Um, hello? Huh? Who could that be? The jump off. Um, is Rescue Team Steam here? That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you... Please, help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a gust of wind. Please. I remember now. You're the jump off in Pokemon Square. We saw Shiftry's team accepting a rescue job. Yes, but Shiftry... He hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Are you serious? Our friend jump off got wedged between some rocks. We jump off can go anywhere if we catch a wind, but... Even though the skies are filled with thunderclouds, for some reason, for some odd reason, the winds haven't blown. Not even a breeze? That is strange. Shiftry's leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. We thought Shiftry's wind would be able to dislodge our friend, but... But Shiftry hasn't come back. Doesn't sound like that tough of a rescue. That is weird. Oh, that's the spirit blaze. He looks as you won't need to be asked. That's it then. We'll go look for them. Really? Thank you. 
Leave it to us. Let's get to it, Blaze. Alright. Well, with that, we have our next objective. We need to go find Shiftry and see what happened while he was rescuing Jumpluff. First, though, we are going to take this initiative. And uh, we'll sell a couple apples. We're going to basically take this time right now to get prepared for our next objective. I'm going to get rid of these blast seeds. I'm not going to really use them. That's how this scan the worm. And we'll sell an orange berry too. Why not? And one last thing we're going to do. Well, two. One, we're going to pay Wigglytuff Club a visit. We're going to buy the jungle. The next expensive one looks like it is the safari at 700. And then bow planes at 60 through, or 600. But for now, we'll store the rest of our money in Felicity Bank and that's really all we needed to uh, really do in order to get um, settled for this rescue mission we have one last thing that is actually going to get our buddy Beldum alright and that I think is just gonna about do it for this part 